the West Coast Avengers. It's a 39 page epic action. It's issue one in October. It's just a dollar 25 wonderful 39 pages in their own monthly regular series. So you could just every month you're getting you're getting a guy with a W on his chest. You're getting Iron Man flying around with his head looks more like a bullet at this point. And then you got some 70s chick, a half naked lady on a beach, and Hawkeye. He's more like wait. Dude's doing what he can, which is just make out with people. Listen, I don't normally meet girls on Craigslist, but, uh, ah, uh, son of a bitch, somebody's at the door. Hold on a second. Why don't we just do it and act like we're not here? A fucking knock on the door, and he opens it up. Oh, it's a good friend. Here I am. And so Hank Pym's like, hey, man, what's up? And he's just like, well, I was about to make out with this chick until you fucking knocked on the door. Guys, try to get this chick. And so he's like, what better way to get this hot chick who looks like a cat and get her all excited but to fly above the earth and threaten to dump her in water? Hey, of course, she's not really liking it. I'm gonna die. He's kind of like, hey, yeah, no, I'm and she's kind of like, listen, man, let's say some sweet things, I'll take you back to land and I can get rid of this asshole. And then she's like, holy shit. And it's fucking Iron Man. And he's just like, hey, guys. And he just whizzes on by like a complete dickhead. And then suddenly he smashes into all these fucking androids and shit. And who knows? Because he's fucking Iron Man and he's insane. He probably sent these robots for him to fight. So he's just like, I'm exercising my machinery on the beach today. How are you guys doing? And so he kind of goes to check out because he thinks it might just be Iron Man being an asshole. Hey, what's up, Tony? Well, and she's not happy. She's probably just telling him all kinds of. See that stars around his head? Her whispering a whole lot. He's stupid, Mr. Fricker. Why are you going to you don't match your stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking call your motherfucking base off, you know? Then he's just like, alright, bitch, you gotta go, alright? And then she kind of falls, and then she does a little somersault right into the fucking water, which she's a cat, she doesn't like that shit. And so Iron Man's just like, yeah, check out my new techno gizmos. He's just like, yeah, thanks, I'm gonna take my aggressions out of these things, you know? I had this cat lady, yeah, I did her last week, you know? Uh, you, you know, well, you know, you can let the share a little bit. Well, share what? Look, aren't you having fun smashing my equipment? So Hank Pym is attacking Goliath. Here in the world, some guy's like, he's got a W on his chest because he's Wonder Man, so you don't need to wonder who Wonder Man is. But then you have Goliath's costume where it's a fucking Y. And he even look at him like, why you got a Y in your chest, dumbass? And then like, Hawkeye's like, yeah, I got an H, see? So you can see that I'm Hawkeye. Hehe, <laughs> that's so cute. Are we gonna make out some more? And she's like, seriously? Yeah, let's try not to mention Hank Pym's divorce while partying with Pym. So what happened was basically Hank Pym came here looking for chicks. He had a chick. He's like, well, you can still wing, man. We can tag team her. And he's like, well, let's have a party. And so these guys come in and they're just like, he's kind of like, oh, because he's like, Hank Pym just got divorced. <laughs> Nobody likes him. And then Hank Pym's like, people like me. And then this girl kind of just feels pity. And she's, because she's a super bitch, because he dropped her in the water, which is actually his fault, but she's not paying attention to that shit. She's blaming him. And so what she does is take off her clothes and runs over and just starts humping on Hank Pym, like, hey, how you doing? Want to feel my nails in your back? She's like, yeah, hey, you're coming with me, right? And of course, Hank Pym's like, fuck yeah, I don't give a shit if you're a furry orange lady. I'm, I'm down with this shit. He's about to fuck the crazy cat lady in the conference of them talking some sort of psychopath. Well, Hank Pym's just like, yep, you're divorced. You look really nice. I don't give a shit if you're slightly furry. As long as it's pretty furry, I'm okay with that. And Wonder Man and Iron Man and the whole gang are just kind of standing around looking epic. And so he's like, thanks for hooking me up with cat friend. And then Wonder Man's like, I thought you were hooking me up with the cat lady, you stupid fucking asshole. And nobody likes Hawkeye. And now I really don't like Hawkeye. And then Iron Man's like, wait, I don't know if I tapped the cat lady yet. So he chases her and they fly off. He's pissed. The cat lady doesn't like him. And Iron Man's just laughing because he just fucks with everybody for fun because he's rich. And that's what rich people do. And so they fly up to this boat. And so they're all about to hang out on this boat and talk. cover up my boobs. No one else will notice the rest of me is half naked now. And so Hawkeye's like, look how useless I am. And there's a cat lady party and the guy starts shooting girls and she starts crying, and gets all upset. And she's just like, I was at this party and the cat lady and I got shot and it's horrible. And she's like, it's okay, look. And so they start talking some girl talk and she's just like, whatever you do, just don't bang Tony Stark. And he's like, hey, you ladies going up to my room tonight? Come on, ladies, you know you want some, some of this. And because she's like, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. And so she's just, and then they decide to go play on the jungle gyms. It's on 12 and he fires down like it's a Street Fighter move. And then Hawkeye just kind of grabs the thing and shoots it into nothingness. And they're just kind of like, what the fuck was that? Like dancing around these pipes and shit. And Hawkeye's like, I'm not used to let me pull out nothing. That's why he hits it with a stick. And so everybody's just falling. And the bad guys escape. No thanks to this guy. And, and Henry Pimp just likes keeping people in the basement. He's just like, all right, my pet human, I'll just go upstairs now and make myself a sandwich. And then it's like, his ex-wife pops up with a monitor. And she's like, hey, Snake, I know you're eating sandwiches at night. You always did this when we were together. I'm watching you, you son of a bitch. I'm going to take all your money and, you're, and I'm going to frame you. And I'm probably going to sleep with like all your friends and stuff just to be a conniving little bitch. It's like, pour my heart out just fucking people for fun. I hope you're happy. Oh, yeah, and I want more money. He just wants this thing to just go away. And he just shuts it off. He's like, why did I ever marry such a psychotic bitch? And then she pops back. I'm like, I'm not a Bitch, okay, you take that back. I want to take another 45 million. And guess what? I'm gonna tell everybody you have a small wiener. Like, your wiener is so small that no one can see it. That's why you shrink so you can try to find your wiener, okay? So you just eat up them apples, okay, you small wiener motherfucker. Let's see your wiener. Is it that small? No, I'm not showing you people like wiener. It's not even small. Same so way. You can't show you. You don't want to take it to the quantum room. Dong, 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 dong. You know, Hawkeye's decided that he gets to be the telephone operator. It's like, sit here and answer the damn phone, Hawkeye. And so the phone rings, and Hawkeye's just like, hey guys. You guys 
got some hero stuff we gotta do, and uh, you wanna put some clothes on? And then he looks all angry because he's like, why'd you just say that to her? I don't have to put my clothes on if I don't want to. And the team's just happy that she's cool with that. Hey, okay, how about you shoot some fireworks? And everybody's just like, oh, all right, you shoot some fireworks. That's nice. And so Wonder Man's just singing, and Wonder Man just can't close his mouth for shit. Look, here's another shot. There's another picture. You'll just understand that Wonder Man just sits around. This, he's like a slack shot idiot. Chick comes, so obviously everybody's hanging out. And then Ultron's hanging out the house now, too. And they're just kind of playing hang and seek in the yard. Around a bush, and then so this naked lady goes down there to go check out this giant dude. Cause, you know, she's a naked lady, you know what's on her mind. I mean, why would you go down visiting super villains like this? Like, I'm gonna go half naked and visit the people locked in the prison. So she's like, Whoa, hey, shit. And the big motherfucking black dude she just kicks him, and then he punches the guy, and then she does some more slashing, and then he goes to bat her in the face, but she ducks, and she's all agile and shit, and just bouncing around him, and leaping up, and like giving him wedgies and stuff. And then she slaps him in the face, and just gives him like a big Mortal Kombat uppercut from the ground up, and then he's just drooling blood, and she's kind of like, I think I was just facing, and then something just smacks her in the back of the fucking head. And it's fucking Ultron. He's like, I'll smack a bitch in the back of the head, and the gorilla's like, I could have took her. And he's like, You're just a little bitch, okay? And his stupid little winter hat. And then he just blasts him. R bust out of jail, because obviously, you know, you didn't see a tiger girl. She must have got up and was like, Hey, dudes, what's up? And so th then Wonder Man is just got his mouth hanging open to catch some bugs on his way out to fly and eat things. Is that like, Whoa! Flying at you, dude, and like, so look, there he is with his mouth open again, like, whoa, smash him, and then there's a big fight. It looks like, oh, Ultron, I think, just seriously, just picks the motherfucker up, like, just flies off with the giant, like, okay, just carry the whole king off. So Hawkeye doing what he does best, just laying on the ground, getting in the way, and this like, his like little groupies, just like, hey, how about we get back on that sofa now? And then, so here we go, and then somewhere it says something about the Grim Reaper, and so there's some sort of hook here. And then, there's the guy in the monkey cost. yeah, see, they all got away, and now there's another villain. And now, it says something about the sons, and a whole bunch of crazy dialogue, which, if I get part two, I will know, is the camera, I'm focused on the